so can you believe the lunacy? Wow. So, on record, the entire United States, from its inception, has failed to eat properly. And the same thing is true of every nation since the days of the Mayans, the early ancient Americans. You don't even realize how much you've been duped. You give yourself 24-7 to the seeking of the true God. You hear from him precisely about what the dream diet is. You dive in and you attack it with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. You live in a condition of paradise that you've never known and that you know that no human being outside of you has ever known. And then you say the exact same things that I'm saying now. Everyone is miserable compared to me. And it's all because, first of all, a spiritual condition. You don't have Christ on the inside. Secondly, a diet problem. Both are the most easily rectifiable things in the history of the universe for all humans worldwide forever. <sighs> it's like you can repent now and dive into paradise, or it'll just keep getting worse for you until ultimately goodbye. You're off the planet and God will give this revelation to future people. Wow. <laughs> just. <laughs> now I'm just laughing because I know the word of the Lord. I know exactly what he said. I know what the dream diet is. I know how to kill it. I just recognize the sheer amount of BS in this universe currently still that many people are still partaking of. And it's only a matter of time before people either A, repent and change, or B, they get taken off the planet by God's grace, taken home to heaven. Man. God is mathematically precise. God lives, God gives exact, precise marching orders that are more precise than your dumb doctor. And I say your dumb doctor because they probably are dumb. They have no clue how to feel happy compared to me. I'm a mathematical perfectionist. You can study my whole life story for tons of proof of that. Um, but when God gives precise instructions about what the dream diet is for the whole human race, it is extremely serious business. And it is extremely serious joy that is on offer on the table from God to the human race. And the offer is yours to accept or reject. Amazingly, the offer is not hard to perform. It is quite frankly, what we call an irresistible offer. Do I have some men in the world? that are willing to take this seriously and experience the joy of God. Hi, hi, hi. Ha! Goodbye, Tinker Toys. Goodbye, Grade 3.
you have graduated in happiness if you will obey the precise marching orders, saith the most high.